Hey everyone, Joe here from Max Chance. I hope that your holiday season went well and went smoothly okay even during this current time period. 2020 has been a hell of a year for all of us, but hopefully 2021 will have us all bounce back after this after this past year. We here at the channel have dealt with a lot of setbacks and a lot of changes to our schedule in order to accommodate, or at least not accommodate, to adjust to everything that COVID-19 threw at us last year. However, despite all this, for, from us, we managed to actually produce our most amount of content ever before we released a grand total of 174 videos throughout 2020. Comparing that to the 88 videos we, we released in 2019, despite everything we got thrown with last year, we were able to release as many more videos as before at a certain quality that we felt comfortable by releasing. Between What's in the Tube and Sal and George's amazing contributions to the channel in the last year, we were able to achieve that. So again, big thank you from the bottom of my heart to them for all their work. Please support them again on all their on all their prop projects, everything they do, follow them on social media, they deserve it. I kid you not, I would not have been able to pull off the second half of 2020 without either of them. So again, thank you. Speaking about what I just mentioned before, last fall specifically, we managed to run our What's in the Two, our very first ever every season reviewed runs, which was both reviewing Arrow and also Doctor Who, with Sal and George respectively. So don't you worry, later in 2021, we will be returning with every Arrow season reviewed second half, as well as every Doctor Who series reviewed part two. We will be continuing those journeys at some later point in 2021. We don't have a release date for quite just yet, but just know that everything that we learned throughout the first the first segment of those runs throughout the fall, we're going to be taking all those lessons we learned and we're going to apply them when we come back later this year with those runs. So don't worry, we will return. However, something that will not be returning in 2021, at least in a much more longevity fashion, is our edited gaming content. Since 2010, again, 10 years already, damn, we've been trying to produce, well, we've been producing edited gaming content, video game content based in general. Um, between random video game reviews, Bro Force, Bro Mode, Gaming Talk prior to that, Couch Gamers for Life, and even Couch Gamers, we have done a lot to try and make quality um, gaming videos. We've tried, and honestly, here's the thing. I still love playing video games. I still love talking about them. I still, I love everything about video games, believe me. I'm, I'm a, I, I bought a PS5 at launch throughout the entire thing of, of the pandemic. I am committed. However... Here in Action X, especially in recent years, we have decided to have a more focus on what we've been more passionate about. We want to focus on stuff that we enjoy making the content for. And we've, we've I have private discussions about this um, behind the scenes. And sadly, gaming content is something that we're not currently passionate for in terms of making videos for. We're just not there anymore. I know it sucks. Um, because you you want to be at the level, but if you're not if if we're not enjoying the content while we're producing it, then it makes no sense for us to be releasing said content for any pr prospectful viewer to be enjoying as well. We don't want to waste anyone's time. We don't want to waste our own time producing the content if we don't believe in it. Which is why we are not going to be pr pursuing any more edited gaming content. I never say never to anything. We leave the door open for anything, but for right now, it will be the end. So we'll see what the future holds. Again, who knows what the future may hold, but what isn't that far ahead of our future is our 2021 content schedule, which all begins this Monday with, I'm so happy to say this, our Rookie Season 3 episode review. That is right. We are back. The hashtag Rookie Nation finally returns with John Nolan. Uh, we're picking up exactly where we left off with, our, with one of the biggest cliffhangers in the last television season. We're back, we're going to figure out what happened, and then we're going to jump right back into our favorite LAPD department back on the field in a very different landscape than ever before. I'm very excited that same what we did with Season 2, we'll be reviewing every episode in Season 3 of The Rookie every Monday morning. I'm so happy. I, I cannot kid you now how long I've been waiting for this day. And we're back. Tomorrow we'll get to see the conclu the what happens next after the, the Season 2 finale. I'm very happy. So again... Rookie Season 3 episode reviews will begin this Monday with the Season 3 premiere. Now that we have our more right away announcements out of the way, we can move on to our full on, the full on content schedule. Because that's like, everything I mentioned is stuff that we need to tackle on right now. Everything else that I'm about to mention will be coming on the next two weeks. So, here we go. So as I said before, Monday mornings will be the Rookie Season 3 episode reviews. But that's not everything we're offering on this season of What's in the Tube. 
as our young sleuth, Nancy Drew, will be returning to the CW on January 20th for Season 2. And yes, we will be reviewing every episode in Season 2 of Nancy Drew. The hashtag Drew Crew is back. I can't wait to see how the Agrelia mystery wraps it up and what other new mysteries they're going to tackle on in the second season. Can we finally get that Ace episode? Can we finally get it? I'm really hopeful. Give it to me, CW. But you can catch our Nancy Drew Season 2 episode reviews every Thursday morning after a brand new episode on Wednesday night on the CW. So that will be coming. That will begin on January 21st, the reviews with the show premiering back on January 20th. But however, since we've, we're doing two returning shows on this season of the What's on the Two um, episode reviews, we're going to add someone new to our roster. Also to the CW, I will be reviewing Walker. Every episode, and hopefully the first season of this show, I've been a big fan of Jared Padalecki since Supernatural, and now that that has currently wrapped up last fall, I'm very excited to see where he takes his acting shop next, post-Sam Winchester in Walker. I'm very excited to see this reboot of the Chuck Norris classic. Our Walker episode reviews will be beginning January 22nd, after the series premieres on January 21st, and we will, pre- we will be premiering all of our new reviews every Friday morning, following a brand new episode after that time slot. Also, just to point out, if there is ever a case where there is no brand new episode of The Rookie, Nancy Drew, or Walker, we will be producing a quick impressions to fill in the gap as there will be no review for that um, either week or maybe even a stretch of time if they're going to go on break. So we will be producing quick impressions just like we do in the fall. So we will be tackling on shows that I've been watching during the pandemic that I haven't yet to cover yet, as well as any shows I've I've been watching pretty recently. And I've been watching a lot of shows. So um, stay tuned for, for more on that. So no matter what, you will get a brand new episode of What's in the Tube every Monday, Thursday, and Fridays moving forward. Lastly, before I move on, whether you're new here to the Action X world or you're still returning, we've already reviewed on an episode-by-episode basis here on What's in the Tube, High School Musical, The Musical, The Series, Stargirl, Perry Mason, and Doom Patrol all last season. And we're excited, to, we're excited that they're going to come back for new seasons later this year. And yes, just to double confirm, we will be reviewing those seasons when they premiere. However, because of the current state of the world, we have no idea when those shows are premiering. I would love to plan ahead just to get all the schedules lined up. We don't know because COVID-19, production schedules are all over the place, so we don't know. But we, what I can tell you is that when those shows do eventually return, we will be reviewing them. So stay tuned for that. Moving forward, we've really depended a lot on What's in the Tube in 2020. While we are very happy with the performance of What's in the Tube in terms of our many avenues on, the, on that show, we don't want to just do What's in the Tube. There's more we can do and offer and sh- present here from the channel. So I'm very excited to announce Ledge Joe Talk will be returning for Season 4. Last summer, we wrapped up Ledge Joe Talk Season 3, and it's, so it's been a while since we aired that show. I wanted to take some time to improve on the show, fix some stuff with the quality, um, with the set. So as you can see, Ledge of Talk will be j- tackling on a brand new slew of topics for all across the spectrum, and it premieres in just a couple of weeks. Ledge of Talk will be returning to its Wednesday time slot on January 20th. That's why new set. This is the new set. We got a new display going here. But however, it's still the same. It's the, the, the core of the show is still going to stay the same. It's just going to look hopefully a little bit better and hopefully with a better backdrop than just a very random um, wallpaper. De- well, I actually, what was the last setup? I forgot it. Right? It's, it's, it's been a while since I produced that show. Doesn't matter. Ledger Talk is back. I can't wait. It's going to have a brand new intro. I really can't wait for you guys to, st- to, um, to watch what we have to present. So the first half of the 26 episodes of the next fourth season will begin January 20th only on Action X. I, I just have to do that CW in my head. Before continuing, I want to briefly return back to the topic of gaming here on from Action X. Again, while we are not going to be producing any more gaming content on the YouTube side of things, um, yeah, no, we're not entirely done with gaming content. We will be streaming from now on. Yes, I said this before a bajillion times, but I'm actually going to commit to it because I managed to work things out with my schedule, my personal schedule. So every Sunday before a brand new episode of The Rookie, I will be streaming on our, on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash actionxgames. So it's only going to be a very small, limited hour. We're going to be playing some games, have some fun, maybe get some drinks, mostly tea. Maybe I can get some guests to come on, but, you know, with scheduling and technology, it's not always a given. But no matter what, every Sunday night you'll get to see me play some games for about two hours, whether it'll be on the PS5 or the Switch or even Xbox, because I just got my Xbox reconnected. 
Um, who knows? But we will be streaming every Sunday starting on January 17th, and then we'll be going offline before the, the new Rookie episode airs. So I cannot wait to just play games casually again. I just, you know, not focus on editing, just have fun. And who knows? Maybe some stream highlights can come out of it and it'll eventually get posted on the channel. But again, who knows? No guarantees there. Lastly, since 2018, we've had a little show called The Pod X Cast. A podcast, whether it was based on audio or based on video, it was always me talking to a friend on camera. So as you can imagine, last year we were not able to produce any episodes because COVID. Simple as that. I always pride myself on trying to do The Pod X Cast in person. So I decided to say, screw it. We're rebooting the podcast. It is now going to be called The Action X Podcast. It's going to basically be the same formula, whether it's now either in person, safely of course, don't don't worry, we're, we're all, if we're going to do any in-person episodes, it's going to be as secure as possible, but most of the times it will now carry on via video calling. The, um, the podcast, the same formula, it's going to be me talking to a, a friend or a group of friends, whether that is returning guests such as George, Sal, or Alan, maybe even some old guests from our past, or maybe even some brand new faces you have yet to meet before. The Action X podcast will still carry on with the Pod X cast in terms of it will be bi-weekly. Maybe someday it'll go weekly, but right now with the current state of things, we're not going to overburst our bubble and overproduce. So we're keeping things bi-weekly for now. But stay tuned. Maybe some point down the line it will change, but um, you never know. But, but for right now, it will it will um, be bi-weekly starting on January 23rd, every other Saturday. So... I uh, can't wait for that. I, I, I really miss podcasting a lot. I already recorded a couple episodes already, and uh, the energy is still there. I'm very excited to get back to work on that. I'm very excited to, um, to be able to talk to people again and, you know, have it posted on the internet. Now, we have a packed schedule already, but Tuesday is still with a question mark. Now, before I say any more, um, no, we're not, there's no more other announcements. Um, we do not have right now the current manpower, the current time, or just in general the idea to produce another weekly or bi-weekly show uh, we we ju we just don't have that right now. So Tuesdays will remain open. It's going to be a free day. So whether that's going to be a resting day for the channel, or that's going to be either potentially a DVD unboxing day, or a DVD haul unboxing, or maybe another say of the channel, or maybe even a four fourths on the tube series. Because again, I don't know what's going to happen with the shows. I don't know what's going on with the production schedules. Maybe something else comes up. So we're going to keep that day open. But you know, Tuesdays is going to be our free zone. It's just, if we have to upload a video, we'll upload something at that time slot. Otherwise, it's going to be a free day. But however, anything that changes, follow us on Twitter to be up to date on twitter.com slash actionx. I think it's still 3000, but I think it's actionx now. So the, the, the correct URL will be here or in the description below. So um, check on that. And just on the topic of social media, um, this is just an announcement, a brief announcement. We are officially making an Instagram page. Um, it's not quite ready just yet. We're in the works on that. That will hopefully be available at some point later in the month or into February. Again, stay tuned more on that. We have a couple of little other things to talk about, but we're going to save those for a little later on. So, But again, follow us on social media to be up to date on any sort of news update with our content. Well, that's our full schedule for 2021. And so now you know what everything we're going to be producing, um, at least in the first quarter of 2021. Okay, now, okay, th this is stupid, but um, there is one more thing. There's always got to be a one more thing. I learned that from the Masters, and um, yeah, so here we go. So... Um, we have a we have I've been talking about this show since 2017 and I'm very excited and I know I've said this before in many different ways of the channels and many different channel updates I've said this before so of course obviously why do you believe me now it's because the script's been written that's right we're, we're, we're finally doing it history of total drama is finally coming I'm I finished the script finally it's done it's got to be proofread a little bit but it's only like just a couple minor revisions and then after that, we're going to go straight into recording, and then we're going to start releasing them. I can't wait. Um, again, no final release date yet, but History Tomo Drama will begin airing once J Let Joe Talk finishes its first half, somewhere in the April May zone. We'll talk more about that in the, in the next play of the channel, but it is coming. I am, I'm very excited. I, I just did a pass through of the script, and um, I think we have something special here, and um, I can't wait to share it to all of you, finally. I've talked about this since... I literally watched the 2017 channel update video, and that was like the first time I mentioned it. We're now into 2021. So 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Five separate years um, to release one show. But it's happening. I'm very excited to give respect to the show that has helped so much in our channel's origins. So I can't wait for you all to see it, hopefully, this second quarter. 
And that's going to do it for me. So from all of us here from Action X, thank you so much, so much for the support you have given us throughout the ride, whether it's been for a long time or even a short ride. And you're going to and thank you again for continuing to support us as we begin our 2020 segment of our YouTube channel careers. Again, we can't wait. But again, remember, be safe out there. Um, be good to each other. Of course, obviously. Um, just be a nice person. That's, that's all. That's all I'm going to say. But again, hopefully you're excited for everything we're about to produce in 2021 in terms of our main content schedule and, of course, now inner streaming. So I'll see you guys fairly soon. So here's to having a very better 2021 than 2020. Peace out.